Thanks, guys. Now, art is a somewhat subjective subject, so my advice is to just stare at the painting, take a deep breath, and let it come to you. Oh, okay, I see a house in the corner, and I see like a field of, of poppies, and there's a herd of zebra over there. Oh, another front, there's a nice little flamingo, and it's wearing tennis shoes. Oh, interesting. It's Einstein. Oh, well, that's what you think. Ah, okay. Now I see it. I was kind of hidden in there. Hey, Bill, how you doing? Hey, Cameron, how are you doing? Very, very good. This is Bill. He's the art director on board Princess Cruises ships. Tell me, who is this artist? This is one of the artists that Princess Cruises is very fortunate to represent. His name is Bill Mack, and uh, he is the number one relief sculptor in the entire world. Okay. Including, he is one of hundreds of artists that we represent. Oh, we represent him. That's good. Yep, that's quite a relief. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's far too early to do any kind of really clever humor. All right, so tell me, not only Big Bill Mac, uh, who else does Princess? Well, we've gotten to a point where Princess Cruises represents some of the biggest names in the art world, such as Peter Max. Uh, we also represent people like uh, Howard Barons, Alexander Nikita, the number one female artist alive today. Uh, we represent um, Michael Goddard. There's art for everybody on board. Just coming up over here as you're looking by, this art style is called Don't Drink and Draw. It was created by a name, name, uh, an artist named Michael Goddard. And if you tune into the art channel on board, you'll actually get to see his biography playing along with many, many other artists that we have on board. Fastest selling artist. Yep. Fastest selling artist. The man has nothing for sale over six months old. Absolutely incredible. And uh, um, I've never experienced anything like that. Okay, so not only the uh, the new artists, how about the older artists? Well, that's a good question. Not only do we represent the masters of today, we represent the masters of yesterday, including Marc Chagall, Pablo Picasso, Erte, Miro, um, including uh, also we even have Rembrandt. Rembrandt. Uh, sometimes can come across our path, and if you're fortunate enough to be on a ship to see a Rembrandt, it's something that you should really embrace. Okay, so I've always had a fear at an auction that if I... Uh, Sneeze, or if I stretch, and suddenly I've, I've bought a piece that I can't afford. A lot of people think that, but uh, here on a ship, I can definitely distinguish between an itch and a bid. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> you definitely don't have to worry about uh, sneezing in the art auction and being stuck with a hundred thousand dollar work of art. Okay, so I can go into an art auction with a cold or a flu, and it should be right. Of course, and I really encourage everybody to give it a shot because. It is an art auction, but it's so much fun on board. It's something that everybody should really take a shot at, have a look at, and uh, you don't have to buy anything. Just come sit down, enjoy, get a little art history lesson there as well from us. And uh, it's just something that Princess Cruises has developed into this huge program that it is today. Okay, question for you. If I'm, I have my duty-free liquor, I have my, my gifts I've bought from around the Mediterranean, etc., or anywhere I've, I've traveled, how do I get something this size home in my luggage? Well, Princess Cruises will ship anywhere in the world. Doesn't matter if you live in Tokyo, Japan, London, England, Toronto, Canada, Chicago, Illinois. It's all insured and we send it all to anybody's home around the world. Okay. Feel like a challenge for you. Yeah. 20 words or less, why should people buy from Princess? Okay. Well, Princess Cruises is one of the largest art suppliers in the world and we spend millions of dollars on buying art. Now, with numbers this big, we'll pass on the savings to all the passengers on board, so it is definitely something you should come and see. Let's have a 46, Bill. No. Oh! That's it. We're done. All right, so if you have any questions about art or want to purchase art, go see Bill. He's in the art gallery and, of course, in the art auctions as well. Back to you guys.